Hi, Cancer. Let's find out what messages that spirits have for you. I've got your cards shuffled and ready to go. Spirits, what's happening with Cancer? Okay, Cancer. It looks like you're feeling stuck in your head about something, like you're feeling blindfolded like you can't see. has something to do with um, equal give and take with someone else. You're feeling trapped like you don't, like you can't move. What's crossing cancer? Yeah, you're coming up here as the wounded warrior. You're tired, but you're holding on. You're, you're standing your ground here. What's happening with cancer? What happened in the past? It looks like in the past there was a wish fulfillment. I'm going to clarify your cards after we get them laid out. I'm doing a Celtic cross. Okay, and um, there is something ending and there's a new cycle beginning. So there's a huge change here. There could be someone that you're trying to find out information or they're doing this to you. Um, but I'm going to get clarification. Someone's trying to find out something. Okay. And then in the future, you're in the Queen of Swords energy where if someone doesn't come to you right, you're going to cut them off. You're using your head and not your heart. Okay. And you could be worried about your money and your stability right now, but we're going to clarify. Yeah, other people are seeing you as rushing towards something that you really want. This is you going after something with a lot of passion. Okay. And we have the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So I do see someone coming towards you with a um, with a lot of love they want to offer you. There's going to be a message coming in. It's, this is a new beginning in love. I see you standing in your strength right now with a lot of courage. Okay, let's clarify your cards. We have the fool on the bottom, so you could be wanting to take a leap of faith. This has something to do with love. You're wanting to take a leap of faith. What's happening with cancer in the present? Okay, in the present, to clarify this, um, this Eight of Swords, I see you feeling stuck here, like you don't know exactly what to do, how to move forward. You're feeling left out in the cold, like someone, there could be blocked communication with someone. But you are feeling left out in the cold right now. What's crossing cancer? Spirits, what's crossing cancer? Okay, so we have the moon. You are in the energy of this wounded warrior where you're feeling like you can hardly go on any longer but I do see there's 
there could be secrets. There could be something that you're not seeing. Something's hidden. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, it looks like this, this wish fulfillment in the past actually turned into a nightmare. This is you being stuck in your head, maybe having a hard time sleeping. This is in your past position. Okay, and then right now we have the death card. The world is clarified by the Two of Cups. So if someone isn't here for you now, I see this person coming in very soon. This person could be at a distance from you with the world card. But there, there is an ending taking place and there's a new beginning. There's a new beginning in love here. Okay, let's find out what this princess of swords is. Why is the Princess of Swords here? Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, to clarify that. So there is someone... There could be someone that's watching you there was a relationship here but there was no equal give and take I can see that that someone I feel like this is you was left out in the cold that there were secrets there was like a sneaky energy here but I really feel like someone is watching you Okay, and to clarify this Queen of Swords, we have the Eight of Swords. So this is you feeling stuck in your head. You're feeling trapped and blindfolded, like you're not seeing the whole picture. You're not moving forward. Why is the Queen of Swords here? But there is communication coming in. This person might come in cold, though, and so that's why... In the future, I see you holding up your sword towards this person who's coming towards you. You can see her. She's looking right at him, holding up her sword. This is a message coming in. Okay, and this has something to do with the love connection. I have the lovers here. Something that's got you stuck in your head. But if you haven't communicated with somebody, which I see is very possible with the five of pentacles here in the present, um, this person is coming. There is a message coming for you. Okay, why is the Ten of Pentacles here, Spirits? Okay, so we have the, the High Priestess. Yeah, there's definitely secrets here. There's something that you're not seeing, and it could be have something to do with um, money or your stability. But there's something that you're not seeing clearly. What is this? And it's that you have this Ace of Pentacles. There's a brand new beginning here for you. The Ace of Pentacles is great. This is like... This can bring you to your Ten of Pentacles where everything is fine. This is material wealth, your stability, you're feeling good. Okay, 
Okay, let's find out why this Knight of Wands is here. Why is the Knight of Wands here, spirits? The Knight of Wands is here because someone's going to be coming towards you very quickly. This person has a lot of passion for you. They're very nice looking. They're a lot of fun. And they want to offer you this cup of love, this new beginning in love. And this is a different person. We got a couple different people here. There's someone here with a lot of passion. And there's some, there's another one coming in that's that could be cold. This could possibly be um, a past person and a new person. Okay. And we have the Ten of Swords and the Temperance card and the Nine of Cups. So you are releasing this feeling of being stabbed in the back. You're releasing this. It's out of 10. It's over. And um, you are having a lot of patience. And I do see your, your nine of cups coming. This is a wish fulfillment coming for you. I feel like you know what this is and you're waiting for it. Okay, and then we have the Knight of Cups again and the Ace of Cups. This person really is going to have a lot of love for you. If you don't know this person yet, this person has a lot of love for you. I see this person coming in the future. This is a brand new beginning in love. Why is the Knight of Cups here, spirits? Why is the Knight of Cups here for Cancer? Okay, and we got the Justice card. This person could be a Libra. It doesn't have to be. I see you getting your Justice. If you feel like something from the past, we have the Five of Cups here was unfair. I see the sun coming in here. This is the happiest card in the deck. And you have the Ace of Cups. Someone's offering you. This is a brand new beginning in love. Very fulfilling. You're going to be really, really happy with the sun card here. This is going to make you very happy. Um, right now, you're focused on these three spilled cups. If you turn around, the two of cups is right there. Which is right here. We have this right here with you ending something. You're ending something and, en and entering into a new cycle. And here's your two of cups. Okay, let's find out why the strength card is here. Why is the strength card here? Okay, the strength card is clarified by the seven of swords and the ten of wands. This is because somebody was being sneaky and so it took you a lot of strength and courage this was a heavy burden to you, but someone was being sneaky. They were lying, cheating, or stealing. But I see you putting this burden down. This is at a 10, and so was the 10 of swords that we had here. So you're putting down this burden. See, it's over with the death card, and a new cycle begins. 
Okay, so let's find out what messages spirits have for you. What do cancer need to know? Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. What do cancer need to know? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Release your ex. This ex, I'm seeing him coming towards you cold. I mean, he's coming towards you cold and you're cutting him off. It's very clear right there. And then we have release your ex. Spirits, what do cancer need to know? Okay, we have adjustments are required. The energy is gaining momentum. And step out of your comfort zone. Okay, Cancer, these are the messages that spirits have for you. Um, I hope they help. And please like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. Let me know if anything resonated with you. And I send you lots of love and light. Bye, Cancer. Thank you for watching.